Hi everyone! Recently I had a couple of requests to share some longer videos um, and so here's an attempt of me um, making a fun um, IGTV video for you guys. So I'm going to be making some paintings on paper. I have, um, I'm doing an art pop-up show at the Martin um, and it is a small gallery attached to a restaurant called Split Rail here in Chicago and I wanted to create some more paintings on paper um, to um, sell at the table so that's what I'm working on today and I just finished showing you guys all of my supplies. I'm going to be using some golden um, so flat acrylics, um, some craft smart paints, um, I didn't end up using this master's touch paint that I pulled out but I did use some Lucas crystal studio paints and some color pencils that I bought, some cheap color pencils I bought on Amazon and um, some um, Mugio, I hope I'm saying that right, Mugio um, oil pastels. Um, so I'm just going to start off the painting by attaching them down with some washi tape like I normally do and as you see here I messed up one of the papers. I'm going to use that paper for something else but I messed it up so I couldn't use it as part of the set. Um, I tape it down with some washi tape and this time I'm going to start off with mark making with some color pencils just um, to give it some texture. Um, you don't see them too much in the final pieces, but it does, they do show through a little bit and it's just like a fun little detail I like to add. Um, now I'm just going to lay down some colors in my palette. I like to use this really large um, baking glass, um, baking glass um, tray that I got at the thrift store. Um, really inexpensive it comes with a lid sometimes I like to use it like a wet palette I'll put um, some wet paper towel in it and then what's nice is that I have that lid to seal it up and I can use the paint the next day um, but I also love that it's just a really large palette so it gives me lots of space to mix my colors um, and now I'm just gonna start laying down some pink and um, uh, the brush that I'm using it was a gift but they're um they're almost um, they're very long. I believe they're technically meant for watercolor, um, but they hold, I think I love that they hold so much pigment um, in the bristles um, that I don't have to reload um, as often and I can just lay down a lot of color. So yeah, I'm just going to paint for a little while. You'll see me um, kind of just mixing and mashing colors and I like to try to hold my um, brush like um, in different manners while I'm painting just to give like a different effect. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy this part of it. Okay, so now I'm getting towards like the end of like the painting of the pages and I just wanted to like jump on and talk about like how I choose color schemes. Um, most of the time I don't go into a painting um, with a pre-planned color scheme. I just kind of let the colors um, talk to me as I'm laying them down. I really like to mix colors, especially for these um, small paintings on paper. I really love to like just mix the colors and not really use to it too much straight out of the bottle. But here you'll see me use this fuchsia. This bright neon pink is probably like my favorite color in the whole world. I probably use it like 90% of my paintings lately. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go in with these Mugio um, 
oil pastels and I'm just kind of taking my time to figure out what colors I want. You can see I use this specific color so much um, and it has like paint all over it. Um, again with this orange, I don't know what it is that I love about it and this um, kind of poopy green color. Um, I absolutely adore that color. Um, and I'm gonna go in with some fuchsia. So uh, same thing with when I'm picking like accent colors, I kind of just let them speak to me and um, go from there. Um, and then this part of like the painting on paper is probably my favorite, is adding all of these like, markings. Um, I like to have fun. I do sometimes repeat the same kind of marks throughout my work. Um, I just find them visually attractive. Um, but this part is like the fun part for me. I feel like a kid, you know, just um, doodling. Um, and yeah, I, I really love doing this part. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll answer this now um, so for oil pastels you won't see me do it in this um, video but I will spray down my paintings on paper um, with some matte acrylic varnish at the end to kind of help um, set the oil pastels because as many of you know oil pastels don't really dry down um, ever and I want people to be able to like put these in frames um, and whatnot. I don't want it to like stick to the glass. So I don't use fixative. I think I might try using a fixative. Um, I just use the, an acrylic, matte acrylic varnish spray and it really does the trick. Um, here I'm gonna go in with this gold um, marker and I laid down this line and I didn't love it and so then I came in and then I was like you know what let me make it a vine and I kind of just ran with it and um, you'll see I ended up doing it on all of these um, paintings. So I'm, I'm done with um, the process and now I'm just peeling up the washi tape um, and I'm going to show you guys each little piece. Look at how cute they came out. I'm so excited. Next time I do this, I'm going to leave in the sound of the peeling of the washi tape because that is just chef's kiss, that sound, that ASMR. I didn't leave it in this time because there was a lot of background noise. Um, but I'll try next time. And um, as I'm peeling up the washi tape, I just want you guys to know that I actually did rip the paper on a couple of these. Um, it happens. There's no way to like stop it. I haven't figured out um, how to stop it. I've been thinking about using different types, trying different types of tape. But just so you know, if it happens to you, it, it happens to all of us. Um, sometimes that, you know, that paper just rips a little bit. Um, and you'll see me, I kind of go in and touch up some of the spots um, that it did happen. Also, I'm going to sign, oh, here it is, yeah, see me, I'm just touching it up because, you know, that's how it goes. It, honestly, you can't really see the rips too much um, 
anyways. Um, but yeah, I just lo I'm, love to clean up um, that kind of thing. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and sign all of my work. I like to sign with just my initials and the year that it was made on these little paintings on paper. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to make more long form videos on here. I would love to do it. I usually make reels, but this was a nice break. Bye!